he's back. After five years of posting every single Saturday, last Saturday, I missed it. It was the first time ever that I've missed a Saturday, and I am truly very, very, very sorry for that. I was preparing for school and transitioning to a new school, and it was a very stressful, hectic time for me. So that's all I want to get into about that, and I'm very sorry, but I thought I'd make it up to you guys by giving you four unboxings today uh, this Mega Modulus Attachment video. So, without further ado, let's get started. So today, like I mentioned, we are going to be looking at four different Modulus upgrade kits. Um, they're all just individual pieces, but they're the brand new ones that they've released and we have the barrel strike, the stock shot, the storage shield, and the storage stock. So we have our two storage options over here and our two new blasters over here. So let's move these ones aside and take a look at these storage options. So let's start with the storage stock. I'm not gonna go super in depth in all the boxes because they're just upgrade kits. And here is the storage stock. It's uh, a lot bigger than I thought it would be actually. So this gray piece on the back flips open and we have a slot. You know, now that I'm looking at it, it doesn't even say on the box how many darts this thing holds, but it does say very, very small fine print that the darts are sold separately. So that's really annoying. For the price this costs for this piece of plastic, you don't even get any Nerf darts for your storage stock. Kind of a bummer. Uh, but as far as being a stock goes, got my favorite stock right here. This is the uh, Super Soaker stock. I love that one. But this storage stock on a classic modulus feels pretty good. No wobble in the buffer tube. Uh, it's got this little switch on there to collapse it, and it has different modes. So that's as short as it goes. Let's call this mode one, mode two, mode three, and mode four. So four different sizes of that guy. Hold some darts in the back. Honestly, I'm at my cottage right now, so I have no idea how many holds because I don't have any darts on me. I don't know if there's actual slots per se, or if you're just supposed to throw them all in there and close it. I apologize that I don't have any darts on me, and I thought it would come with darts. It's just, for the price, it's a nice stock, but let's move on to the storage shield. Storage shield, uh, see this one actually tells you that it holds up to 24 elite darts and 6 mega darts, whereas this one doesn't tell you how much it holds, so I'm guessing you just throw them all in. So yeah, 24 elite darts and 6 mega darts. Of course, in this little box, it's not going to come with all that. Again, kind of a bummer, but breaking into this guy. And here is the storage shield. So it looks like that, and then these kind of fold out. Looks very reminiscent of the Stampede. Uh, this comes down. That looks very cool. Um, I personally don't like this attachment at all because I have trypophobia. This isn't really bad, but it's getting there. I th it's like the fear of like multiple clusters of holes. I've touched on it before, but I just don't like this design. I don't know how they could have done it any other way, but I just don't like the clusters of holes. But... <sighs> For the sake of the review, they have tried to go a little different with it. You have this kind of ring of three here that can kind of hold three darts and then eight on each side there, bits of four there, and then three mega darts on each wing. So let's uh, throw it onto our modulus. Oh uh, yeah, that's pretty floppy. Look at that. That is way too floppy. Maybe if you keep it down, but it's supposed to be like a shield, right? So you can look through this part, but oh my gosh. Nope, I don't like it at all. Oh, and the plastic just came off the orange piece. Forget that. Let's do the fun ones. We I, I started with the boring ones. Let's move ahead to the barrel strike. This one's pretty cool. Actually comes with four darts, and it's a proper gun, a four-shot blaster. But it actually is a barrel strike, which means it's going to go onto the front of our modulus. Now, these don't actually have to go on modulus guns, if you didn't know. They don't have to go on the modulus ECS-10. They can go on... Well, this one in particular can go on any blaster with a front barrel attachment, but if any blaster you find has tactical rails or stock attachment or... You know what I'm saying. Just because they've branded it modulus, doesn't mean it has to be. Hey, so here is the barrel strike. It's got some good weight to it. That's the first thing I noticed. It's pretty heavy. 
for the size of this gun, I expect it to be a lot lighter, but like something like a tri a triad because it's a four shot. But no, this is uh, quite heavy. Very, very cool though. All right, so when you get the barrel strike in the box, it's gonna look like this. It actually has one tactical rail on it. This uh, pretty actually comfortable stock. It kind of feels like I'm just shooting an Uzi type weapon. Um, you'd think that's a really short unusable stock. No, it's actually very nice. So that's the stock. Uh, the handle pulls down like a triad and a nice, nice large pull. And for a pistol, pretty good distances. Yeah, those are uh, nice distances. Now, it's the barrel strike because it's got this little orange button on the right side here. When you push that in, this flips up and, and locks in place. And then you have a barrel attachment thing that can go, oops, go on here. Like so. And now you have an extra gun on the front. I've seen some other guns like this before, and the common problem is that you can't one-handed cock it because it's pulled down through the handle. The reason why they need to do that is because so that the plunger isn't affected by the gun in the way. It has to go down, not back. But because of that, you can't really one-handed cock it very well. So that's a bummer, but they, that's what they had to do. And now to release it back to its regular form, you're gonna have to Take it off whatever gun you're using, and there's a little switch right here. You pull this little switch forwards, and it comes back down. I actually, I really like it like this. Four shot, pretty cool, and it sounds pretty good too. All right, and last but not least, this stock shot. I don't know, maybe it'll be least. I'm gonna try and get into this gun without even opening the box. Yep, there it is. So again, we get our four darts. It's very safe to say that the barrel strike and stock shot are identically, mechanically the same guns. Just their exteriors are different because they have the same handles on them, they have the same primers, same four barrels, pretty much the same size. So mechanically they're probably the same, but this one, you're not gonna use it like that. See the barrel strike is actually very comfortable with the stock deployed on its own, whereas the stock shot as its own thing, you're not gonna be using that. So, the stock shot. If you have darts in there, it's not gonna go on, so you need to pull this part forwards, and now it'll go on. And now, that's a really long stock. It's got a little bit more flex, but you can actually shorten it up with a, uh, a big button. And by shortening it up a little bit, much less wobble, that's probably the size I would use it at. So you can kinda do that, and then when you wanna use it, you'd actually have to take it off the blaster. That's the difference between the barrel strike and the stock shot, is that the stock shot needs to actually be removed in order to be fired, which is kind of a bummer. It also can't be in its completely flat form with darts in it. It needs to be deployed, and so it's definitely not in a pinch you have a secondary. It's uh, not even a very comfortable stock, so... If you had to choose one of these two, I would go with the barrel strike, and if you had to choose one of these two storage solutions, I would go with this one. Even though this one technically holds more, it's flimsy, breaks off, stuff like that. So if I had a basic modulus gun with these new attachments, I would choose to run it like this. This is how I would do it. Not this 10 dart magazine, but that is very, very long. If I deploy the stock all of its way, that's a very, very long blaster. I may even shorten that up a bit. Yeah, plenty of size though. Got that extra gun in there. And then this, you don't have to deal with putting every little dart into its individual hole. You just throw them all in, and you know you have some extras in there. The gun can be fired while on the blaster, unlike the stock shot. And that is my semi-professional opinion. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, taking a look at some of the new modulus pieces. Recapped the ones I like, the ones I don't, and hopefully that helps inform your buying decision. I think out of all the ones we reviewed today, the barrel strike actually is my favorite. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I just want to apologize to those who come back every single Saturday and we're expecting a video. Uh, like I said, first time I fell short in five years, so won't be another five years till I fall short again. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're new, I post every single Saturday. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. And as always, this was Nerf Boy Productions, signing off.